King Charles considers traveling to America to reconcile with Prince Harry amid ongoing feud. Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Gist, where we bring to you the latest updates about your favorite celebrities. If it's your first time here, please kindly subscribe so you be notified on any latest information. Thanks. King Charles may soon be crossing the Atlantic in an effort to mend the strained relationship with his youngest son, Prince Harry. According to royal expert Tom Quinn, the 75-year-old monarch has had discussions about potentially visiting Harry, his wife Meghan Markle, and their two children, Archie and Lilibet, in the United States. This potential trip could signify a significant step towards resolving the long-standing tensions within the royal family. In an interview with The Mirror, Quinn revealed that King Charles is eager to bridge the gap between himself and his estranged family members. There is no doubt if it goes ahead he would build in time to visit his youngest son and his grandchildren, but there are mountains of planning to be overcome before that becomes even a remote possibility, Quinn stated. The planning for such a visit is complex, given Charles's extensive royal duties and ongoing health issues, including his recent cancer diagnosis. Harry, 39, and Meghan, 42, relocated to Montecito, California, in 2020 after stepping down from their roles as senior royals. Since then, their relationship with the royal family has been fraught with difficulties. Charles has only met his granddaughter Lilibet once and has seen Archie a few times. Quinn emphasized that the king is desperate to foster a closer relationship with his grandchildren. He hates the idea that Archie and Lilibet will not remember him as the warm, friendly grandfather he wants to be, Quinn added. Relationship expert Luella Alderson also spoke to the Mirror about the potential impact of King Charles's visit to America. The logistics behind King Charles making a trip to America, whether it's private or not, may prove difficult, Alderson acknowledged. However, she noted that such a visit would be a significant gesture towards repairing the fractured relationship between Charles and Harry. This fact alone means if King Charles is willing to make the effort and put forth the time and energy to visit Harry in America, it could be a significant gesture of his desire to mend their relationship, she said. Alderson highlighted that any successful reconciliation would depend on both parties being open to communication. Despite Charles's willingness to address the issues, Harry's readiness to engage remains uncertain. Harry has publicly criticized his family multiple times, including during the infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey, their Netflix documentary series, and his memoir Spare. These public disclosures have further strained his relationships within the royal family. Since leaving the royal family, Harry has had limited interactions with his father. One notable visit occurred in February when Harry flew to the UK upon learning of Charles's cancer diagnosis. The two reportedly spent only 45 minutes together before Harry returned to the United States less than 24 hours later. Harry also made a brief visit to London in May to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games but he did not meet with any family members and chose to stay in a hotel rather than a royal residence. In spare, Harry delved into his complicated relationship with his father, recounting instances where he felt unsupported. He shared an anecdote about discussing his anxiety with Charles, who suggested medical intervention that Harry was reluctant to accept. Harry also claimed that Charles failed to acknowledge the harsh treatment Meghan received from the British press during their time as working royals. The conversation went in circles, and when we hung up I felt, abandoned, Harry wrote. The strained relationship extends beyond Harry and Charles. Harry's brother, Prince William, reportedly feels betrayed by Harry's decision to reveal family secrets to the public. This adds another layer of complexity to the potential reconciliation process. Despite these challenges, Alderson believes that every effort towards reconciliation is a positive step. It may take time for their relationship to fully heal after the events of recent years, but every effort made towards reconciliation is a positive step, she concluded. As of now, there has been no official comment from Buckingham Palace or representatives of Prince Harry regarding the potential visit. However, the possibility of King Charles traveling to America to see his son and grandchildren suggests a willingness to heal old wounds and build a more united family future. 